What's going on guys, it's Stormwalk Studios here. Today I have another LEGO Custom Iron Man review for you guys. Today what we have is the Mark II armor from the original Iron Man movie. As we all know, the Mark II armor was the first evolutionary uh, armor that sort of uh, made its way up to the Mark II. This is what all the armors after it is based off the same design, even though there's a little differences here and there. Overall, this is what uh, this is the suit that changed everything in the Iron Man universe. Um, as we all can basically start off by saying is that the entire minifigure is uh, sort of a silver chrome look. Um, the Mark II armor is a chrome looking uh, piece of uh, weaponry. Uh, unfortunately, they don't sell uh, chrome paint anywhere I go. So what I had to do is uh, I had to use silver paint for it. But overall, it still made the same effect. It has that beautiful finish to it. Um, Unfortunately, when you go up to it, you won't see a reflection. Um, however, it has that shine to it that looks uh, almost exactly like the actual armor from the movie. Um, to start off, I want to say that the helmet is not completed, uh, specifically because I have to buy another Iron Man helmet. The helmet I'm using today is the War Machine helmet. You guys can sort of get a glimpse because uh, the far edge of the helmet is dark gray. Um, but hopefully when I get another helmet, uh, I'll paint over it silver and the minifigure will be completed. But overall, this minifigure is uh, probably 99% completed. Um, uh, the reason I need to buy another helmet, though, is because all of my other Iron Man helmets are being used uh, during or in my Hall of Armor, uh, which you guys can check out uh, in my other reviews. But uh, getting back to this minifigure, uh, this minifigure just took almost forever for me to make. Um, the amount of detail, the time, effort, energy that I put into this minifigure, uh, don't get me wrong, it turned out great, uh, but... I did work a lot on this minifigure, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's start off by giving you guys a uh, 360 review of it. Um, you guys can tell that the uh, detail continues on to the side of the legs and the arms, and also to the back of the legs and the back of the torso. And going back to what I was saying about the helmet, you can see the dark gray helmet, but uh, hopefully that won't matter for you guys. I just wanted to give you guys sort of an idea of what the uh, minifigure will look with the silver faceplate. Um, but yeah, continuing on, uh, the detail does go all over the body. Uh, I'll take the helmet off to, to reveal that it's just a normal Tony Stark head. Um, but yeah, uh, I really do, I really did enjoy making this minifigure. But like I said, it did take a while for me to make. Um, the silver... Uh, painting it was uh, actually probably the easiest part. I think the hardest part, again, was uh, uh, doing the detail with the, the black on it and uh, doing the uh, arc reactor in the middle. What I did for the arc reactor is I got a Lego lightsaber hilt and I got a uh, some black paint. And uh, if you guys know the part of the hilt where you guys put the saber piece in, if you guys can see that right here, I painted black on this sort of circle area right here and uh, what I did was I took the lightsaber hilt and pushed it onto the, uh, the torso to give sort of the circular effect and then I went back with black paint and um, I completely filled in the black circle and after that was dried I went in with white paint and created the, uh, the arc reactor effect with the light and uh, overall it made it a fantastic detail to it. Um, I sort of think uh, with the lighting and everything it actually looks like it's glowing right now and uh, with the chrome effect you guys can see uh, how shining it is, like the reflection of it. Um, overall I think this minifigure uh, turned out amazingly. I'm not going to say perfect because there are a few minor problems I've found on it and it's mainly, if you guys can see it, I think the worst thing that happen to this uh, minifigure are these uh, these little joints at the very top of the leg. I don't think the uh, circular effect came out the way I wanted it to, but overall it's a uh, minor uh, setback, nothing too much to worry about. But overall, yeah, that's my uh, Mark II minifigure. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I want recommendations. Um, uh, like I said, this minifigure probably took me... Uh, four to three days to make overall just with drawing the paint and uh, the detail um, but I want to know if you guys think uh, I'm ready for it if you guys 
uh, think I should make another one and uh, start selling my minifigures. Uh, if uh, my minifigures are really worth selling, I want to know, I want to have your opinions. Um, if you guys could comment in the description below, it would mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, go check out my other minifigures. If you guys enjoyed this review, you guys can uh, see all the other past uh, minifigures I've done. And uh, also something to look forward to is that um, I'm going to be making more tutorials because a lot of people seem to enjoy my uh, Batman, the Dark Knight, Heath Ledger Joker, and uh, who knows, I might even make a tutorial on the Mark II armor. Uh, just saying. So again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. I enjoy making these videos for you and I thank you all so much for your support and uh, just the amount of appreciation I've got over the past year with YouTube. So thank you guys again so much. And as always guys, this is Stormwalk Studios. I will see you guys later.